Good day, no ho, my host, Will and Cloud, and welcome to another BMW video, E46 or the villain mobile. Now, what's up this time, you're asking? Let me show you what's up. Window regulators, as the title of the video. Pick, pick. Wait. The lens is a bit dirty, so... Beautiful. Let's go. Now, the biggest problems with these kind of cars are the window regulators. How windows go up and down. They like to fail. Let's just say they like to fail. Yep. Right, Steve, that's exactly it. Uh, no thanks. Now, yeah, I still don't have any gear shift, so it's fine. Now, I'll show you with this one. This is already changed. This is fully changed. Go smoothly up and down and completely straight. If I do this side, see how it's leaning here already? It's yeah, it should be like that. If we go again, see, so it means it, it's it's bad. So I'm gonna show you how to change it, and that's the yeah, you can see it's on the other side. So I'm gonna show you how to change that one. Let's start with the things. You will need, obviously, a brand new window regulator. Brand spanking new. This is Radex window regulator. You will need 10mm socket or 10mm spanner. I like sockets. You will need a Torx bit. T20. T27 Torx bit. And for the screws themselves, I use 8mm. A long socket on the small ratchet. The big ratchet, 10mm, is for your airbags. You will need a zip tie, trim removal tools to clean the window, because I will take out the window. You don't need to, but I will. Silicone spray, as the window is out, you can lube everything up, goes in and out nicely. Use the pray tool to pray off the trim that covers the two bolts. Put it down somewhere safe where you won't forget and there is a bolt there is second bolt there's the third bolt behind the cover and there's the fourth one but I lost the cover take off this cover that you can see what's happening with the wiring undo all the screws and put the screws somewhere safe I'll put the screws in the door pocket so I don't lose them and I know where they are Reach with your hands around the door, around the panel and the metal door. Try to find tabs. Tabs are holding this panel on. And once you have this big gap and you see all the tabs are loose, on the outside, pray the door panel up and at the front away from the glass or from the door comes off from these metal tabs to release the door from the lever pull the white up and then pull the handle it will come out itself then take off all the wiring tweeter and the speaker Put the door panel on the side, somewhere safe. There is one, two, three bolts that hold the airbag on. Undo these three bolts and leave one bolt in. Now the tricky bit is here, you need to unpeel the sound deadening. It's glued on the sides, so if you start from one side and just slowly peel the glue. Put one bolt back in, so it holds the airbag in there. Now 
Now you see one, two, three, four, five nuts that hold the window regulator in. You need to lower the window so you see the bolts that hold the window through this hole and this opening. When you see, see the screws like this and you can get to them, you've done it right. Now take your 8mm socket and undo them. There's a nut at the back, it likes to fall out. So with one hand hold the nut at the back and with the other one undo the bolt. Now remove this trim, outside trim, so you have easier access to the glass and it, the things doesn't get stuck. Now start to lift from the back and remove the front as the last thing. Now you have perfect chance to clean your glass completely. Undo the nuts that hold the window regulator me mechanism inside and top tip right, right away. Remove the motor now. In the video, I removed it when it was on the ground. If you remove it now, it will, will be easier to remove the window regulators themselves. Just a top tip. Do it that way, it will be faster and easier. Once you removed all five nuts and put them safely where you know where they are, unplug the motor and then there are cables. One is here hooked on the latch One up here is a cable tied. Now take the pliers or anything else. And remove the cable tie. Now once you see that all the wiring is free, just push away. Get out all the screws from the door. Start from the outside first. It's easier to remove it out from that gap. So you can see it comes easy and you don't have any struggle. This is why you remove the motor first. As you can see I'm struggling to get it out not properly. Whoop! There you go. It fell. You just need, needed to give it an weird push. There you go. That's what you want to get out. Put them side to side and compare them if they are the same. If they aren't from a different model of the car. There can be different ones. And if you take a different one, you will need to redo all of that. As you can see, they look the same. Use the T27 to remove these three bolts. You will need to twist the motor before it comes out. These new regulators came with the new parts. The windows are holden by these plastic tabs. This is a really good time to properly clean the window. Then simply push the tab in and move the nut inside. Push the nut in. So the nut clicks in and it's all holding there. You can see the difference. The red one is the old one and it's smashed. Putting it back together is exactly 
the same as removal, only in reverse. The screws you need to put back, they will fall. So use a little bit of tape and tape it to the socket. This will save your time that the screw doesn't fall out and you don't need to put your fingers in there and mess about.
If you liked this video and this video was helpful and you enjoyed it how I struggle with some bolts, smash that like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you next video. Bye!